Hi, Rome 5, and today I will read you a wonderful book called Deep Sea Doctor by Leo Timmers. Deep Sea Doctor Dean dived down into the ocean in his very special submarine. Like every morning, he was looking for fish and other sea creatures in trouble. A snapper with a stiff tail, a pilchard with a false smell, a jellyfish with a twisted tentacle. Soon, his patient came, his first patient came along. Oh, seahorse, watch where you're going, Dr. Dean shouted, breaking hard. I'm sea racehorse, the little creature leaned proudly. I'm the fastest fish in the ocean. Only, only I cannot see well, doctor. In fact, I can hardly see at all. Dr. Dean pushed the button, the submarine shivered and shook, and unfolded with a soft buzz. Bzzz. You need glasses, lad, the doctor said. Sea Ray's horse picked out a pair that would stay on his nose. And he couldn't believe his eyes, that's how good his view was now. Thanks a lot, doctor, he yelled. It's a pleasure, Dr. Dean smiled and he dive deeper into the ocean. What? Dr. Dean gulped. An enormous mouthful of sharp teeth appeared in front of him. That would be really scary. Don't be afraid, Hokter. I have a horrible toothache, Shark babbled. A toothache? asked Dr. Dean. Yes, a toothache. I cannot hide anymore. Bzzz. Ah, look how brave the doctor is. Please sit down, Dr. Dean said, and open your mouth. Soon he found a rotten tooth and pulled it out. Shark clicked his teeth proudly and grinned. Thanks a lot, Doc, he said. It's a pleasure, pal. Dr. Dean smiled and he dived deeper into the ocean. Suddenly, it got very dark. Mm, what's happening? Who's that? Dr. Dean asked. It's me, Dr. Octopus Mond. My arms are hurting awfully. I was playing tag with a school of sticklebacks, and now I've got scratches everywhere. Bzzz. Dr. Dr. Dean wrapped in some ointment and applied eight bandages. Well, octopus, in a couple of days you'll be your old self again. Cheerfully, octopus wriggled his arms. It's already hurting less, doctor. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Dr. Dean smiled and he dived deeper into the ocean. Dr. Dean was almost on the bottom of the ocean when he saw Whale. Hello, Whale. Why are you so sad? He asked gently. Whale didn't answer. Perhaps I can help you? Dr. Dean tried again. Oh, just leave me alone, Whale sighed. Bzzz. Now, lie down, Dr. Dean said, and tell me. What's wrong? All right, well said, sadly. But just that fish are so slim and so nimble, nimble, and I'm so fat and so slow. Well, you're the biggest and strongest in the ocean. Whale's eyes sparkled, and he smiled, and he swam off. Dr. Dean watched him go, and he said softly to himself, It's a pleasure. Well was his last patient, so Dr. Dean pulled the lever to go, to go up to the surface, but the submarine didn't move. He revved the engine at full power, but the submarine didn't stir. I'm stuck, said Dr. Dean. Help! With his new glasses on his nose, Sea Racehorse could see what was happening. I'll get help, he called to Dr. Dean. And off he went as fast as a thoroughbred racehorse. A short time later, 
see, Racehorse returned to Shark. So, Doctor, shall I give you a hand? Shark laughed, and with one bite of his teeth, he cut the submarine loose. Oh, no! See, Racehorse shouted. The engine's on fire! Uh-oh. There was a loud bang, and the submarine sank fast, crashing onto the bottom of the ocean. I'll be right back. Little sea race horse shouted, and he galloped away again. Soon, he was back with Octopus. With his eight arms turning and twisting and pulling and pushing, Octopus repaired the engine in no time at all. Start it up, Octopus ordered. But Dr. Dean didn't move. I don't feel well, he muttered. The crash had shaken him all over. He has to get up to the top, Shark said. But how? Before anyone could answer, the submarine began to move. Whales pushing Dr. Dean to the surface. See, race horse, shark and octopus shouted. Whale could hear the admiration in their voices. He smiled proudly. He was the biggest and strongest of all the animals in the ocean. When he reached the surface, Dr. Dean looked at his rescuers and said, Thank you, little sea race horse. Thank you, shark. Thank you, octopus, and thank you, whale. Without each of you, I would never have made it. Sea race horse, shark, octopus, and whale all smiled and shouted. It's a pleasure, Dr. Dean. I really hope you like the story.